on everybody? And we're just doing a quick little project here. Um, I've got some pieces of scrap Damascus steel and I'm welding them onto these uh, little pieces of tube here. And we're gonna take them over to the water jet and cut out some Damascus rings. All right, so I went ahead and cut this one inch square tube back a little bit because the water jet has a like cup nozzle and it needs to be able to operate here without coming into contact over here. So now we're good and we got the clearance. All right, everybody, so right now we're laying the ring out here uh, in the computer before it goes over to the water jet. I've got the size laid out in the inside diameter. The outside diameter, it's gonna be about an eighth of an inch thick. Now I had to make sure there's a tab right here, and that's a little piece of metal that's gonna be left over so that when the ring gets cut out, it doesn't just drop through to the bottom of the tank. And that would be impossible to find. So that little tab is gonna be very important. So we had a little bit of a problem. As you can see, the ring is very thin. I screwed up my math, silly. Uh, I went an eighth of an inch bigger in diameter, but that does not equate an eighth of an inch thick, which is what we were aiming for. So luckily, I've got a second piece. We're gonna try it again. All right, everybody, uh, looks like that worked. We got a thick enough ring. Um, I was able to save the centerpiece this time. Might use that for something later. But uh, I'd say you cut something out on the water jet. So I couldn't put it in the vise too hard, it would bend the ring. So a little bit of a pain, but this is what you're left with. All right, all that's left to do is take a Dremel, come in here and clean up the inside of the ring, and then go to the sander and flatten out both sides and get it all nice and polished up. All right, so now we have the long and very fun process of hand sanding a tiny little ring. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna rub it down and get it to a nice shine. And then we're gonna go into some ferric chloride acid and show the awesome pattern on this ring. All right, so my acid is just really not doing what I want it to do, it's either uh, not diluted enough or too diluted and I just can't seem to find the right mix But I do have this copper solution acid that's separate now It's gonna wick copper onto the ring, but it'll probably get wicked back off But I know that the ratio of water to ferric chloride is really good in here So I'm hoping this will give us a better edge All right, so since we used a piece of scrap steel for this, I didn't realize that this was a piece of steel that had a solid core in the middle. So that's pretty cool. You can see that dark line straight in the center of the core. But because of that, it's really hard to see the Damascus pattern. It, you can kind of see it on the beveled edges a lot easier. So what I'm gonna try to do is kind of bevel over, uh, more round over, this ring on the sides a little bit more and see if I can kind of open up that pattern a little bit more. So 
I'm just putting a little uh, mineral oil on here. It's safe for my skin. It's not very abrasive or caustic or anything, and this is going to help neutralize the acid and rub this thing down. All right, so looking at this ring, I regrounded a little bit to see if I could get some of that pattern out. It's not really working. Uh, I think the layers are just too many. There's probably 600 in this thing. So in that small of an area, it doesn't look like anything. You can't really make out much. So I wouldn't call it a failure, but when you're using random scrap pieces from the pile, you never know what you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is just go cut a new one out. Just do the same process again with a different piece of scrap and uh, see what happens. everybody so this one turned out a lot better there's a lot fewer layers so we have bolder lines in the ring now it just goes to show you with a little bit of scrap steel and the awesome tools we have here first build including the water jet machine you can come here and make some pretty cool stuff thanks for watching everybody